Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're going back into Pianta Village for some more coin collecting. Well, the Fluff Festival coin hunt, not the official coin video of this level, so to speak. But it's still a coin collecting hunt, and it's a pretty interesting one, actually. This is probably one of the biggest red coin collecting hunts in the entire game. Namely because this place has got them hidden in pretty good places. Anyway, go down here from the very start and drop down to the mushrooms like so. What you want to do is work your way over to the under er, underside area, you know what the... Uh, um, wait, 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 wait. Uh oh, I screwed myself, didn't I? Dang it! <laughs> Uh, I'll be back there in just a minute. What the heck? He's... Oh, okay, there we go. He just fell through the tree. Alright, we're back down here. This time I'm gonna take it one shroom at a time with ascending height rather than trying to jump the gun. <laughs> so this time I'm gonna grab onto there. Which side do I have to be on to climb up to the top? I think I would like to be on this one. Because I have to go something like this. And there's the red coin over there. I gotta work my way over to it. So, yeah, you can climb on top of these things. They have uh, pathways set up so that you can do so. Uh, it's pretty clever, actually, because you can hang off the bottom of them as well as go across the top of them. And each way, because of the way that you have to navigate them, it makes it feel like a totally different area. Because otherwise, if you were underneath them, you'd have to use these sliding panels to get across them, but otherwise you would have to jump and hover to get across them. And I'm going to carefully work my way back over to the main area using these mushrooms, and... Yeah! There we go, and I said, and there we go. Woo! Now, the rest of the coins are above the surface here. The next one that you're, you'll probably want to get is the one that's up on this tree here, because it's very, very dangerous. So, yeah, you might as well take care of the more difficult ones first. Like, you'll notice that you got to get across this tr thin tree branch. Needless to say, if you get too close to one edge or the other, you're going to slide right off into the abyss. And over here, you've got a red coin right there. Awesome sauce. The next one is... I think you're going to want to go over to this grass. I know there's one over here. Um, there's a blue coin. <laughs> wow, that's a really hidden blue coin over there. No one would ever find that in this grass. Even if you zoom in, you know, and, and try to obstruct it with the grass, then you still, still can see the coin. Anyway, there's number three. Um, number four, I'm going to get off into this tree, or I should say underneath this tree. See it? It's underneath the fruit tree here. Um, the fifth one, I think, is in the hot spring. Which you can get just like so. And there we go. And I was a poet and didn't know it. Oh, and I should refill my um, H2O here. There we go. And the other one is, oh boy, this one scares the poop out of me. Bees, 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 bees! Okay. <laughs> They have the potential to knock you off the edge, so yeah. Anyway, uh, if, if you don't know where these coins are offhand, this could take you a while to find them, if you didn't uh, get the hint there of what I said at the beginning that was pretty time-consuming. Well, not as time-consuming as other coin hunts. Anyway, the largest stack of uh, crates over here will contain the seventh red coin at the bottom. Now, the final one is way, way on top of the tallest tree, which we got to navigate with the rocket nozzle. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the easiest way to get up there. I'm pretty sure I could just do one of these dealios to get over to this platform, I think. What do you have to say about this situation now that I got up here? And no green mushrooms up there. Oh, oh you've seen a red coin? I knew that was up there! I told the people! Oh, oh, it's okay, whatever. And there we go, there's the rocket nozzle, which you can unlock. I don't believe there's a turbo nozzle in this one, so you don't have to worry about unlocking a turbo nozzle later on, like for uh, blue coins. So that's the nozzle that you have to unlock for later. And just find your way up to the top here. Oh, I, I can actually get up to the top, the very top here now. And 
Whoa, 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 whoa! Well, I failed. Okay, we're here once again. Let's see if I can make this incredibly difficult jump, and that failed once again. Well, at least I ended up here. Uh, can I just, like, rocket up to that platform with one shot? That would be pretty handy for a shortcut. Oh, yeah, that's nice, I can. Okay, is there any... Do I really have to get up here from that, this platform? I don't remember having this much trouble getting up to that jump before, dang it! <laughs> Come on, man. This has got to be possible. Oh, there we go. I guess I just had to get between the uh, uh, leaves. <clears throat> anyway, there's the last red coin, as you can see, on the very tippy top of this shine sprite platform. And... The shine appears way off into the clouds off to the side there. Now this is where the whole fluff festival thing comes into place. See these dandelion like floaty puffs here, like with seed done and stuff like that? Well you can grab onto them, uh, whenever one comes near you of course, and then the wind will push you over to that those clouds over there. So turn yourself over to those clouds and wait for a gust of wind. I think it's coming. These act just like flying poles, by the way, in case you didn't realize that. And there we go. We're on top of the clouds. Don't ask how a cloud can support Mario's weight. Don't ask. Don't question the game logic. Just grab the shine sprite and end the stage. I'm sure you've seen this one coming. Select the episode Secret of the Village on the side, and now you gotta go over to that secret area with Yoshi once again. And there's the egg, and yeah, I was gonna show the secret area, but I already showed that before. You know where this is if you've been following the parts up to this point. But, as I said before, I'm gonna show it each from start to finish, except for that dang casino. <laughs> and Del uh, Hotel Delfino, excuse me. In, at Serena Beach, you know, bit from the start to finish, just to make sure that people can follow exactly where you're supposed to go if you're only watching it for one shine at a time. And wait, there's a oh, there we go. <laughs> hey, gimme, thank you. And now let's take this over to the Yoster and take the Yoster over to the Force Field vomiting area. Of which I can go over to the Chuckster area, and that Chuckster area is more annoying than ever. Because you have to collect red coins under pressure while trying not to die from haphazardly talking to a Chuckster at the wrong place because you're rushing. And that could be very well be a problem. However, you're going to have pretty much unlimited chances at it. By the way, who the heck would get that one up over there? Ooh, you would have to wall kick against that tree, and I've shown how many times already by dying to this tree that how, how glitchy the tree physics are, and yeah, you get the idea. And whoa, 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 whoa there we go. And careful with the force field. Oh, no, 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 this... Wait, wait. Wait, am I... Oh, what, what, no, what? Oh, come on! I got onto Yoshi, and I ended up dying anyway. What a ripoff! That's a much better landing spot, so aim for one of the sides rather than just going from the center stupidly like I did. Oh, and I, I don't think I ever mentioned before, whenever you're on Yoshi, as per Mario tradition, the music changes and adds like a drum beat of sorts to the music. Listen. Yeah, it's a pretty prominent drum, drum beat in this game. Anyway, secret area! Red coin chucksters. Oh boy. This is not going to be pretty, I can tell you already. Oh, Anyway, this is what I mean that you'll have unlimited chances at this, is if, is if you go over to this Chuckster right here and just keep grabbing this one up over and over again, you know, well, I shouldn't say over and over again, every time you die, then you'll have unlimited chances at getting the coins. Anyway, here we go! Oh, boy! Only, only 130 to get these coins? You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Do I have to really bounce on your head too? Yes, I do. Wow. <laughs> I 
Oh, I gotta line myself up with this red coin here. At least I think. Hello, guy? Will I get it? Oh, I don't need to line myself up at all. What am I thinking? Anyway, I gotta try and get this guy over there quickly. Well, he'll only go as fast as he can go. And ta 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 Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! And there we go. I, I'm not even sure if I missed any, to be honest. So far, I hope I didn't miss any. Higher, higher! And there's number two. Oh, there's three and four. Well, at least I think there are three and four over here. And... Hello? Hello? Dude. Dude, what the heck? <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to get him that way. I'm not gonna have enough time to do this, am I? <laughs> We're just taking way too much time already. And talk to the Chuckster. Go, 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 go! And there's two points here. Man, they're in awkward places in general. But at least you don't have to have the Chucksters throw you into them. Um, yeah! I thought there was a red coin over here somewhere. Well, that failed anyway. I don't have enough time, so yeah. Hmm. Alright, this time I scouted out the area a little bit better ahead of time. Um, I know where the last couple coins are, so let's just get through this! This is not one of my favorite red coin collecting ones in the game, that's for certain. You! Oh, oh no, I no, I can't talk to him right away. Now I gotta use big guy because I'm low on time. I think I angled myself wrong! Oh! I did! Ah! Guys! You have to go faster! You must! Eh, oh no 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 no! Shoot! I'm not gonna have enough time for this run either, am I? Because these guys are just offset from the very start. And I gotta mention something. Doesn't it seem kind of silly that you die from running out of time while collecting coins? That doesn't seem, you know, plausible, but never mind. Okay, that's coin number two. I'm gonna talk to this guy, try to attempt to use the larger chuckster here, and... Ah, I made it! Okay. That works for me, and now I would like to talk to him at a slight angle to the right. There we go. And what the heck? Oh, okay. Oh, I just got a coin incredibly lucky. Like so, and now around here, there's a tightrope platform. That's where you can find another coin. And that's where I thought that I was missing. Well, I shouldn't say that's where I thought I was missing a coin before. And pull off this Pianta here. Cool off this Pianta. I'm pretty sure you have to cool off this one. That's on fire here to get a red coin. I'm almost positive you do. Unless I thought that's what you had to do. Okay, I'll go to him. And it just gives me a one-up? That's a total waste! Oh, that's gonna be a waste of a run. Oh, Jesus. It's over here. That's gonna be a total waste of a run. Oh boy, that's not gonna be good. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe I have enough time. Good. Eight seconds, eight seconds. Wait, 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 go, 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 go! Go, go, go! Yeah, I actually got it! <laughs> Woo! Thank God that one's over. Okay, one more shine. The last secret shine of Pianta Village is in Episode 8, the Flush... Flush... Fluff Festival Coin Hunt. Now... This is one of those things that it seems like that you wouldn't know what to do, like how to find this one, but the villagers actually give you hints on where this shine sprite is if you talk to them. Like, I'm gonna talk to... I believe this pink guy gives you a hint. This pinkish purple guy here. You give me a hint. No, you don't give me a hint. I don't even know why I'm talking to these guys when I know that some of these give you hints, so... I don't know. <laughs> But anyway, one, one of these guys gives you a hint on how to get to the shine, and where that shine is, is way, 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 way on top of the tree. Now, remember that shine sprite platform before that I was on, uh, way back in episode 8? Way, way on top of the tree where the last red coin was? Well, 
there is something very, very odd about it. Well, if you look up at the sun, and then spray water at the sun itself, yeah, spray water at the sun from this distance, you can make a shine sprite picture appear out of thin air, and it'll make a shine sprite appear in general. Uh, this is one of the ones that don't make any sense whatsoever. But anyway, you go up to first person view, look at the sun, switch to your normal nozzle, and spray it. Look at that. A paper thin shine sprite picture hovering in midair. That's the last secret shine of Pianta Village, and that's the end of Pianta Village's normal shine, so to speak. So, that's about it, I guess. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.